engage. Any Star Trek fans out there? Oh, I just loved how Jean-Luc Picard on the Enterprise, on the bridge, he would give the go answer, the go command by just looking straight ahead and saying, engage. Yeah. I love our gospel story today in our reading. I'm Andy Ross, by the way. I'm one of the pastors at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona. Come visit us. Engage. Today in our schedule of readings, we're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7. And a, uh, a Roman centurion is very concerned about his servant, who is very ill. And uh, so the people... Um, orchestrate, coordinate Jesus to go help out this Roman centurion. Uh, they make a case of what a good guy he is. And so Jesus and friends start going towards this centurion's house. Um, listen to this. When he was still quite a ways from the house, the captain sent friends to tell him, Master, you don't have to go to all the trouble. I'm not that good a person. You know, um, I'd be embarrassed for you to come to my house, even embarrassed to come to you in person. Just give the order and my servant will get well. Jesus is taken aback. You know, he says, not anywhere else in Israel have I seen such simple trusting faith. Um, when the messengers got back to the centurion's house, that servant was healed well up and at him. Just give the word. Just say the word. Just trust. In your prayers today, how will you address Jesus about someone you're concerned about? Um, about a situation that's troubling you. Jesus, I'm saying your name. Just say the word. Friends, when you pray to God, uh, he doesn't need to do a dramatic miracle. He doesn't need to come in through the window. Prayer is the way we engage the power of God through Jesus, the Son of God. Will you engage the power and presence of God today? Who are you praying for? How will God's Holy Spirit intervene? Those are exciting questions. It's a beautiful Tuesday. Let's engage our lives with the spirit of the living Christ.